Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your hard drive in your brand new PS4 Pro. Now, upgrading your hard drive in the PlayStation has been pretty easy since the PS3 days and on the PS4, and the Pro makes it just a little bit easier. All you need to do is go to the back right of the device and pop off the plastic piece that's covering the hard drive, pops up pretty easily, it's on actually a little bit more secure. Now from there, you're gonna take a Phillips head uh, screwdriver and you're gonna unscrew the one screw that's sort of blocking the hard drive cage in place. It's a nice little tiny screw, it has a little PlayStation logo on it and it pops up like that. Then after you finish doing that, all you need to do is slide out the hard drive uh, cage and there you have it. There is your PS4's hard drive. Now, um, you wanna make sure the orientation that you see here, you wanna make sure that the drive that you insert, that it is, uh, the tag is pretty much facing on the inside and the belly is facing on the outside of it there. Now, there are four screws that you need to unscrew from it here, so we're gonna go ahead and just do that on the side. And we'll speed this up a little bit because it's not necessarily the most entertaining thing to watch. And once you've popped off all the screws, there's your hard drive. Now, by default, it has an HGST hard drive in it that's one terabyte. We want to want to kind of beef this up. Maybe if you want to, you might want to use an SSD or a larger two terabyte, four terabyte hard drive. We'll put links in the description of different drives I'd recommend, both for HDD and SSD, to install on here. Now we're just using SSD as an example. We're over shrinking the size here, but. Basically, um, what we're doing here is we're gonna slide this back in. Now, most of the time, as you can see here, I'm a little clumsy. These uh, drives, these 2.5 millimeter hard drives are a lot thinner than they used to be, so you wanna make sure the holes uh, line up accordingly to the side, and it could take a little bit of uh, finagling to kind of get done here. Probably a lot easier with smaller hands and my big giant hands that you can see are trying to do this. So, once you kind of have it aligned there, you wanna screw it in and make sure you have it in nice and tight. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that and lock this baby back in to its cage. Okay, once you have the hard drive securely in the hard drive cage, you wanna go ahead and slide it back into your PlayStation 4 like this. Make sure it's in there nice and secure. And then you wanna take that one big screw that we uh, unscrewed before and put that right back in the same place so we make sure it's nice and locked in. And then from there, just re-add the plastic piece back on and you're all set to go. Now time for part two. In this part, you need to make sure you have a flash drive with at least two gigabytes of storage. And then you wanna go into the link in the description to download the PlayStation 4 software. You wanna download that to your PC. And then once you've done that, you wanna actually go into your flash drive and there's two places, two things you need to do. You need to create a folder in the root called PS4. And then you wanna make sure you create another folder. This has to be all caps for both of them. This is update. You wanna create that. And then with the update, you wanna pull over that psupdate.pup file and it needs to look exactly and name exactly like this and then drop that file into this folder. And it should read about 8, 870,000 Zero, 063 kilobytes, so basically 870 megabytes should be um, shown right here inside the drive itself. When you have it set up like this, now you're ready to do the update, which we can go ahead and jump over and do. Now you wanna take your USB flash drive you set up, plug that into the front of the PlayStation 4. You wanna plug in your DualShock 4 controller, power it on, it should boot into safe mode, and you wanna go into your setup here. Uh, basically, you wanna to go to option number seven, which is initialize PS4, reinstall system software. You wanna tap on that, and then from there, you wanna, it's gonna, should automatically detect that the USB drive is on there. You wanna go ahead and hit okay and it should find it automatically. And once it does that, it will kind of give you through the prompts to go ahead and get you set up and going. If you've seen our PS4 Slim uh, hard drive install, the software setup is pretty much the same as we'd seen in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up just a little bit to get to the end.
And boom, once that's all set and ready to go, you have your PS4 and your new hard drive and software installed. Now we're gonna take a quick look at the storage here just to show you guys what we have inside for that so you can get an idea. We'll go ahead and go over to settings. We'll go down to storage management here. And you can see we have uh, 173 gigabytes available. We installed a 256 uh, gigabyte uh, SSD. So that's just kind of showing what we have for software on it. But that's pretty much the way it goes. How to set up your hard drive and how to install a new one. Pretty easy to do. We have links in the description for both hard drives we suggest that you can grab. Links to the download of the software and such all available in the description. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Share with anyone that might find this useful and help them out in setting up their PS4 Pro. And uh, thanks for watching guys. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.